Today, we have an interesting challenge. The challenge is that currently, we are having an amp list here, which is the input. So, we need to filter all the employees whose salary is more than 5,000 and then we need to print the employees. So, you will say that, okay, Abhishek, what's the big deal in this? We can just mention something like this, amp list. Then, we are going to say here, screen. And then, in the next line, maybe we can say here, filter. With this filter, we can say EMP. Then, we can say this EMP dot get salary something like this and then we are going to say greater than this 5000 so let me write it like this and then in the next line since we are saying that we need to print so we will be seeing here this for each and within this for each we are going to say here this out then column column and then this print l so you will say something like this but the trick is that you can't directly print with the help of this okay so the rule says that in this one you need to print with the help of this print method only which means that you need to make usage of this print so you will say okay that's not an issue but the problem is that this print method is going to accept argument as employee array so that means that after filtering we don't need to print directly instead somehow we should be able to save our data to this employee array so let's see how that can be done first of all let me cut from here and directly paste it in this particular line something like this yeah, I hope this one is still clearly visible. Let me remove this extra line from here. Now the thing is that I can't make usage of this for each. So no issues. I won't be doing this. But then there exists a method like this to array. So I can make usage of it. Now if I directly say to array, then it will make object array. I want employee array. So I will be saying here to array in this particular way. Then here what I will do is that I will go to this one. I will say that there must be some size of this array. After filtering, there must be some size of the list also. Yeah. So we will be saying here this size. Then we are going to say here this new. And then we are going to mention here this employee. And within this employee, we are going to say here size. So now what it will do is, it will create an employee array of this particular size and put our employees there. Let's execute the code. So as you can see, we are getting our correct answer. There are only two employees whose salary is more than 5,000. But if you wish, we can make it even more smaller. So how we can make it more smaller is using method reference. As you can see, what, whatever is the input, same things we are providing here. So instead of it, we don't need to write something like this. We don't need to write something like this. And this new keyword, we can remove from here. We can mention after these box and then we can mention like this. I mean, that sounds strange calling it as box. Okay. But see, that can be a thing. So let me execute it again. And yeah, still it works fine. So this is how we can achieve our goal that we can convert a list to string and then to an array. Like the video if you learned something new today. Thanks.